Okay, I'm going to show you how to do offline waypoint settings in the Mini Navi app. So, as you can see here, I'm disconnected. I don't have the drone here. I don't even have the controller on. I'm just using my phone with the app. And what I'm going to do is, while I've got the map up here, I'll show you what this looks like. You open it and you get the camera view, which is, there's nothing because it's not attached. It's not even in the room with me. You bring up the map and you'll see this little space helmet, whatever the heck it is. Okay. Hit that and you'll see the only waypoint is visible. Everything else is grayed out, but you can use waypoint. When you use it, it says offline waypoints. And it's telling you to watch your altitude, your routes, basically telling you that what you're pecking here is going to have objects and you need to know what you're doing so you don't send your drone off into the side of your house or the nearest tree. It's telling you to locate waypoints on the map. Now what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit here. This is the ballpark behind my house. And I'm going to start making some waypoints. One I'm going to put over the basketball court. And here, you can do things like hover, record, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to set it for 40 meters. So I'm safe from anything on the tree line. And add it. There's one. Now I'm going to do another one. The far side of the ballpark. Uh, outside of uh, the outfield. Okay. Stays at 40 meters for you. Everything else is available. Add that one. I'm going to add one more over the parking lot here. There we go. And add that. Okay, so there's my three waypoints. What I'm going to do next is hit the arrow in the upper right hand corner. That's this up here. And here's where it gets interesting. So the only way I've found to be able to add point of interest is to choose either time lapse video or time lapse photo. I'm going to have to find a better way to do this. You also want to choose a heading of free so that it gives you the point of interest. Um, oh, interesting. So there you go. I don't need to choose time lapse video or time lapse photo. I can now start adding. As soon as I selected free, that goes away. As soon as you select free, you can now do point of interest. So. Click on the map to make that go away, and then literally, you want to drag this little guy out into the the map where you want a point of interest. I'm going to put it right out on the pictures mound. Now it tells me which waypoints I want to bind with that point of interest. I'm going to bind one and two. Say add. Now you see the little one? If I zoom in here, see there's a one underneath both of those? In orange, you got a one over here, and you have a one over here. So these two places have ones under them, meaning they're going to use the point of interest number one. Now I'm going to drag another point of interest, and I'm going to put it over here, over the bleachers. And I'm going to bind that one with waypoint number three. Number three is now looking at POI number two. You can even see these arrows near them. See the arrow by one and the arrow by two? They both point at POI one, whereas the arrow by three points at POI two. Genius. Now you can kind of sum it all up. You get your three waypoints, you got your speed, you can tell it what speed you want to run. It's interesting because it's in meters a second, but as soon as I move it, it goes to miles per hour because I have mine on Imperial. Anyway, let's say 11 miles per hour. All of them are going to use the waypoints that I have. They're all going to point the heading, uh, the, the camera at the uh, point of interest I have. I can tell it to exit if there's a problem. Or continue. I think that's pretty odd. I always tell it to exit. Um, as far as mission completed, I can do return to home or hover. Usually I do hover, but today I'm going to do return to home and save it. That's it.
saved. Now you won't be able to see these now. Uh, you're not going to see them until you have the drone running. But when you have it running, what you're going to do is you're going to bring up your intelligent flight. You're going to go to waypoint. I can't click it now. It just does off offline waypoints. But when you bring it up in the field, you'll get history. You'll get two others. If you click on history, that one I just created will be there. And you can play it back with the drone running either up in the air or sitting on your landing pad. When you hit it, it will take off. I like to have it up in the air because if you have it on your landing pad and it has to go from zero to, you know, 120 feet altitude, it's going to go on an angle. And I don't feel comfortable with that angle because there's too many trees in the park where I am. But depending on your circumstances, you can do it that way. And that, my friends, is Offline Waypoints. Enjoy.